tell everybody who you are? Uh, my name is Gavin Purcell. I uh, am the co-producer of Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, uh, the show. And I met you online yes. like, through Twitter and yes. the website. It's excellent. I yes. love what you're doing. Like trying to engage the audience prior to the show. Uh, yeah, it's a huge part of our plan. Like we really love the idea of. It's part of it is like trying to get Jimmy and connected to these people ahead of time, but also the other part is we're going to do this stuff on the show. So I think that's a big part of it too. Um, we wanted both of those things were on purpose, essentially. You know what I mean? Like we really want those things to be part of the show. Yeah. So um, you have the show and it's on at a certain time, yeah. but this website that you're building can live on like 24/7, and people can like be in there, yeah. just kind of participating, like participating with yep. the show. Time. What are, you, are you going to do something new or different well, than we've seen? I tell you what, I'll give you a kind of a secret. I mean, not that this is any huge like mystery, but uh, we're going to take the website and we're going to create a content-driven experience that will be different from the show and connected to the show. Essentially, we're going to make a content blog um, on the show as well as community section of the site driven by people that will work for the site itself, like on the show staff. So we're going to be one of the first, I think one of the first major shows, maybe even any, anywhere, because even at former networks I've worked at, the internet and the TV shows are different departments. We will have bloggers on our show staff, um, and they'll be integrated into the show itself. Um, so I think it's going to be really interesting. The websites, and I think there are so many possibilities to do stuff on the web that may not work on TV, or things on TV that may not work on the web, but then there's some things that will work on both, and I think it'll give us a chance to explore all sorts of different kinds of content as well. Because some videos and some kinds of content honestly work better on the web, so we'll do those things on the web. Some things work better on TV, we'll do those things on TV, and some things work great together, and we'll do those things together. Um, and I think it's gonna give us an opportunity to see the do stuff that people haven't really done before. So Jimmy's on Twitter, and he yes. just recently got on Twitter. Yep. And um, he asked, he, he got a um, crock pot for Christmas. Yes. And they asked for, you know, what do you guys do with a crock pot? He got like pages and pages yeah. of recipes. Yeah. What did he think of that? Feedback? He loved it. He absolutely loved it. He went bonkers for it. In fact, he loves, I mean, it's funny to see people, what I always love about when you're on Twitter and famous people, it, the greatest thing is they all kind of get off of the idea of using it as like this hive mind. And it's an awesome thing where like you can say and have 7,000 people instantly respond to you. Like it, but I think more than that for Jimmy, the cool thing is like it's a direct connection to his fans in a way that like he's never felt before. And he said to me so many times in the last few, like a couple weeks, he's like totally addicted to it because it gives him a chance to connect in this really cool way. And just kind of what the webisodes are doing too is like let people get to know who he is um, rather than kind of through a guise of like what other people might think he is. It's like directly to him. And I think most people who have kind of had that interaction with him, uh, whether from watching the web series or from Twitter, are really liking that person that they're finding, which is so awesome because that's the guy that I know, he's the most awesome guy in the world. And I, I it sounds like sucking up, but like, he's a super cool guy. And I think it, it's one of those things, an opportunity for somebody like that to kind of get to know him even better. Um, people are um, on the web saying, can I be the announcer? Yeah. You know, so people, they're like, I want to be the announcer. Can I be a guest? Can yeah. I be on the show? And like, I think that by Jimmy being on Twitter and actually really using it and listening to people, people, it's like the first time they've ever had a chance to talk to someone on TV. And yeah. It's like a pent up desire to be part, part of, of something. Yeah, no, it's totally be part of something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think that's something that you guys can harness yeah. in, in some way. I think totally. I mean, I think I think that we're big fans. Number one of what Colbert does and did with all of his stuff. But also, I'm also a big fan of what we used to do at my at G4 because I think G4 does a really interesting job of getting audiences interacting and things like that. And they've got a very specific kind of young male audience, but they do really focus on interaction. Um, I think we are definitely going to find ways to get people to do stuff. I mean, a simple idea that uh, came up um, a long time ago through Jimmy, I think, was he wants to potentially, you know, do an internship where you, you take a kid and you follow him from uh, being in college. Like, but instead of him coming to do an internship on the show, he does an internship while in college and does it all through the webcam and interacts with the show that way. Which is such a cool idea, um, and that's kind of something that I think could come up with this kind of thing, right? Like, you don't have to find your way to New York to be on the show. We could do, you could be in, you know, Champaign, uh, Illinois, and you could be in college and be on the webcam and be part of the show. Or, you know, Skype in a lot of stuff. So there'll be a lot of fun things. Yeah. I have a whole class of students. That's great. And like last semester, what I do is tell them to start doing it now. Don't yeah. wait till you graduate. Absolutely. And then don't some stop. of them yeah. have been successful with yeah. me showing them the tools to, yeah. to work, you know, with media and get get you know published. So 
maybe we could work something out. Where yeah, totally. Yeah, I love this idea of yeah. having the audience, and we could just have them all do stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Or maybe the you know, who knows? Maybe there's a seat in the audience which is piped in of a person from somewhere else. You know what I mean? There's all sorts of crazy ideas we could do. The I benefit mean, the is like, door. yeah, yeah, exactly. Trap door. That's gained some traction. <laughs> it is. I think those are going to be great. I can't wait to do stuff with the trap doors. I'm super, super excited. About okay, that. that's great. So thanks for your time. Absolutely. And if people want to follow the show, where do they go? Late www.latenightwithjimmyfallon.com. Uh, that's the main site of the videos for the show. Um, and I think following Jimmy on Twitter is a great thing too, which he's at at Jimmy Fallon, um, and I'm at at Gavin Purcell. If anyone wants to follow me too. Excellent. Thank cool. you. Great.